Joining us now is Shannon McCaffrey. She is the senior editor at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Uh, Shannon, it's good to have you on the show. I had to start off with this. I mean, your publication and staff broke this story. What's it like to see your journalism turn into today's hearing and one of the biggest stories of the year so far? Well, thanks for having me. Um, you know, we had first word about these allegations. Um, they were, you know, made in a court filing, but, you know, our reporters were able to get hold of that, you know, on a or earlier than most. Um, but but it is really interesting to watch all of this move forward, um, you know, from back in, what was it, 2021, you know, when this phone call was made to Brad Raffensperger, you know, following the arc of this story has just been really remarkable here in Atlanta. Yeah, uh, it, it's made waves, that is for sure. The judge in this case has said that Willis could be disqualified if today's hearing proves there was a conflict of interest. Do you think so far, based on what you and your team has seen, that there's enough evidence to justify Willis being tossed from the case? Well, the standard for conflict of interest, you know, it's not etched in stone here. So there is a certain amount of subjectivity that the judge will be dealing with. So it's really difficult for us to say. Um, you know, what he has said is that going into this hearing, there there have been a lot of various allegations swirling around, some to do with, you know, whether or not Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor, had enough experience for this job. And, you know, the judge, Scott McAfee, has said he doesn't want to hear any of that. He is concerned in a very narrow way on whether or not this relationship financially benefited the district attorney. So, you know, I think that's where we're going to um, be hearing him focus the testimony. He's made clear he wants the witnesses to stay um, in a pretty narrow lane on that. I think what will be interesting is, you know, some of these details are, you know, the word has been tossed around salacious and how, how much will yeah. he allow in in order to gather those facts. Yeah, I was just talking to an attorney last hour. It's There's so much to sift through, right, between what's legally pertinent and then what are just salacious details uh, surrounding the case. Lastly, before I let you go, Shannon, how could today's hearing impact the future of the state's election interference case against former President Trump? Well, there's a couple things. Um, the attorneys have asked for various charges to be thrown out. That's one, you know, outcome. I think the more, um, you know, potentially more likely charge is, you know, potentially more likely outcome rather is that the district attorney and her whole office could be disqualified from this case if the judge finds that a conflict of interest, you know, would prevent her from prosecuting it. And in that case, the case would be moved to the Prosecuting Attorneys Council of Georgia, which is an independent commission, and they would decide if there was another prosecutor who could take it. You know, to, to hand off a, a case of this uh, importance and of this, you know, this complicated nature, 19 defendants, 41 counts would would really be challenging, especially when, you know, Fonnie Willis has had all sorts of threats of violence made against her. So folks aren't exactly lining up to take this case. Yeah, this is the story that keeps growing new legs by, by the day and the week, it seems. Uh, our team is certainly on it, as I know yours is as well. Shannon McCaffrey, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.